of fishermen feel me they hooked me up with all jumbos at the bait shop i kept them alive all night long in the aerator opening up your bait bucket and it's like you can't even believe it. they're all dead all of them all of them not even one. I got a bait runner on. If the fish does bite, it's not gonna take my rod into the water. It's just gonna peel some line. I'm looking at the shoreline now. I might get down behind that uh, rocky, that little outcrop right there. There might be a current break on the other side. It might be a good spot. Anyways, we're on the feather somewhere. Pretty overcast today, which you'd think would be ideal. The day is early and I have the rest of the afternoon. The bite is supposed to be hot here. Just got a nibble. It's about 10 of 10. We're rigged up with a three ounce on a sliding swivel. And uh, we just got a nibble. Oh, we just got another nibble. Fish on. Tiny guy. Oh my gosh. Super tiny. the species it's not a keeper ways led me to a dead-end road where there's a closed gate there was a bunch of cars those cars weren't fishermen actually they were just a bunch of high school kids practicing running up this hill then I met with some dude back on the trail you know how that goes and he's caught small ones but he's also using anchovies but I find that they uh, they don't work well casting. They don't stay on the hook well. Just climbed down the bank to take a peek, and I see a spot that I can fish in more of the bend. You see all these trees in the water right here? The water's high. I don't want to fight those trees and the fish. You know, you get it all the way in, you lose it 10 feet from shore. I'm not playing that game. We've come too far. That sand all around the floodplains of this river, which tells me it's all sand inside the river around here. The other bank is sandy. Got all the boats cruising by up here. You know, we got a crack spoon on the trail. Things are hot, folks. Things are hot. I don't know what this plant is, but it smells unbelievable. You know what? Oh yeah, it is this plant. Sometimes you gotta stop smell the flowers this whole time this whole time ooh cheers boys you know we're trying here this ain't for a lack of effort honestly I don't know where I'm from I mean <laughs> I don't know where I'm from I don't know where I'm going but I don't know where I am uh, Never been back here before in my life. We got one fish on. <laughs> the skunk is off the day. Pretty sure I still have all my gear. It's pretty thick back there. I was trying to pull stuff out of my pockets left and right. So, it all looks promising. When you've been landing keepers in your head for the past six plus hours. I think I'm just going to cut in right here. I'm using an 8.6 ugly stick, 40 pound suffix braided to a 50 pound swivel to 25 pound floral carbon leader to a size one bait holder. And we're using sandworms. And if you were watching the earlier portion of this video, you already know that I killed my whole dozen. They're all dead. All of them, all of them. Not even one more. It's a little sick, bruh. Look, there's a striper going, dudes. They're drifting. What are they using? 
Looks like he's just drifting a dang minnow. So here's this little cut that I saw from earlier. Just enough to get a cast off. We might be onto something here, folks. Bait runner set. I'm gonna throw on a Lucky Craft 110. It's cold, my feet are wet, and it's a little disappointing, you know? I see boats stacked down there. Uh, I'm sticking in this spot right now. A lot of boat traffic. <coughs> It's just rocks. It's moving fast. Even my four ounce is getting carried away. Cast it out again. This time with a minnow. Let's take an update. Update. There's a couple down there living. One, two, three, four. Now before, they were all completely comatose. Boat number one. There's another boat over my shoulder out there. In the pouring rain. Still waiting to get banged up here. It's damp. It's cold. You could definitely use a hot meal. I had a sip of whiskey and a little smoke. You can see the wind on the water. It's starting to get rainy. It's time to pack it up, head back to the cart, figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the evening and uh, what the game plan is going to be for tomorrow. Ridiculous, ridiculous day. I'm out of there. The farm road's behind us. My car's in front of me. It's raining. Um, there's still a couple boats out there, but this guy is soaked. Super discouraged. I caught two, I don't know, eight inch schoolies. Now I'm going back down this trail that we went down earlier because of my knife it got pulled out of my bag. So I'm going to drop my gear here. Go back down this trail. And see if I can't find my knife. I had read some article that had me all amped up. 20 pound striper. Feather river wide open. Feather River wide open. All right, I gotta focus and try to find my knife in this mess. I found the uh, knife. The only thing is, it's missing the knife itself. So it snapped it off in my bag. One fillet knife down on this trip. <coughs> Excuse me, as well. So, we're almost back to the car. The cooler will not be filled. I actually walked past the car, so now I'm backtracking. Somewhere back in... Oh, it's right over here. Okay, fishing fam. <clears throat> we are back in the car. I was cold and wet. I brought a change of clothes. I changed. Today was so rough. I'm honestly thinking about making the journey back home. So, that's what's going through my mind right now. I don't recommend this, but I am eating in the car, and I also cooked in the car in the rain uh, with my little propane heater here. All I had to do was put some hot water in a bowl. Voila. Anyways, I just don't know if this is worth sticking around for. I was checking the weather report. It looks like it's going to rain all the way into tomorrow morning, too. Update. It's about 11 o'clock. Got off the water, dried my clothes at a laundromat, ate, which by the way, a dollar got me 24 minutes. So I had left a three ounce lead in my jacket, which I felt every pocket before I put it in there. The lead was bouncing around the dryer when I was outside in my car. Someone opened up the freaking dryer. Which is why my shoes are still wet. 
Forgot to put my hoodie in the dryer, that's still wet. Forgot to put my socks in the dryer, that's still wet. Tomorrow morning, they should be good to go. Thinking about what I was gonna do, I decided to stay here one more night and knowing that it was gonna rain, I bought some rain gear. So I've got some frog togs, I bought a rain suit and some basically some rain boots. Which should keep me dry all day tomorrow and then that keeps your head in the game. And tomorrow's plan is swim baits and live bait. There's a bait store, but you know, I'd like to try to catch them on artificial catch a few fish off the same plastic, now you're kind of getting a bargain uh, out of your bait, in my opinion. Super excited to hit it again tomorrow. The morale is, is picking back up after uh, a very challenging day. I expected more. The hype, there was a lot of hype coming out here for the striper bite. Um, but it ain't over. Round two tomorrow. All right, guys. Good morning. Well, the baited camping was a success and I just boiled some water to make it some coffee. It's probably about 6.30 a.m. Sun's not yet up over this hill. It is up over the horizon. I'm just gonna drink my coffee and we're going to get out of this orchard. Very pleasant stay, thank you. Orchard. Look where I just came from. Holy cow. If you're gonna bandit camp, make sure you go out the same way you came in because I just killed the morning trying to get this thing out of there. We're almost there, believe it or not. But we just got a little bit more to go before we're on solid ground. Whoops. I can't believe we got out. Took a little bit of digging, a little bit of doing. Could have been a lot worse. Let's get out of here. Well, the sun's out, but I see a bunch of rain clouds. I gotta get off this farm. That's why I should have stuck to the main trail. It's high, it's dry, it's got grass. That could have cost a lot more than just some digging out. All right, back to fishing. Well, we're on the trail. Sick rope swing spot. Look at that, drop off. We'll check that spot in a minute. Let's head back this way. All right, first cast. I'm fully expected to get broke off here. I see that there's a tree sticking out of the river right there. You see how that water is just bubbling over there in that corner from the current? The river's a little higher. It is a bit calmer in this bend, just off the side of the current. I'm liking that. Bait runner set. Rod holders in position. It's about 9.30 a.m. Yuba City, California. Rain yesterday, stopped in the middle of the night. It's raining cats and dogs. But the fish are already wet, they don't care. Um, stay tuned. Damn near knocked myself out on it. That's a concussion for sure. Oh. Those guys are hooking up out there with a striper. I just put my head in my log so hard. I literally brought myself to my knees. It's 
So that boat out there just hooked up with a keeper. Just baited up again. Stripped. Missed one. Fish on! Come on, 18! Come on, 18! Come on, baby! I don't think it's 18. Ooh, spiked me and spermed all over me. Now we're friends. <laughs> Chill, B. Oh yeah, well it looks like it. I got a tape. Oh yeah, that's nice. 20. Sick. Oh dude. I got the I just remembered I had the frying pan. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. And I got a stick of butter. And I got lemon pepper. Fresh off the skillet. Keeper striper. Diddly damn licious. The rain has come. We got the rain suit back on. We're frying up some striper. Awesome. I'm going to tie a new one on, man. That seems to be the ticket. The way that it was, that was, that was a, oh my goodness. Dang. Welps. Dude, that one was so close I could taste it. It, it was a keeper. I think my, huh? What size hooks are you using? Bait holder? Oh, he's back, baby.
Fish on. I think it's tiny though. Yeah, he's a short. A little action. Still got my anchovy. Nice. What's that? Yeah. Bonus. Shish kebabs. It's been an interesting day down here on the Feather River. so much for watching and please if you like what you're seeing like and subscribe